you are stranded. The island looks like paradise, but you are already dead. Welcome to Haddock Island, the most terrifying place in prehistory. Seventy million years ago, this was no tropical retreat, it was a prison, a brutal experiment of nature. Dinosaurs trapped here evolved in ways that defy imagination. The giants became dwarfs. The small became monsters. Imagine a dense, misty forest. The air is thick, heavy. You hear a rustle in the undergrowth. A dwarf sauropod, no bigger than a cow, crashes through the trees. It looks scared, terrified, because it knows what's hunting it. You see a flash of movement, a blur of scales and feathers. This is Hesagopteryx, the apex predator of Hattig Island. Forget what you know about pterosaurs. This was no fish-eater soaring over oceans. Hatsagopteryx was a monster that stalked the land. It stood as tall as a giraffe, with a neck like a battering ram and a skull nearly ten feet long. Its beak was a giant reinforced spear. It didn't soar, it hunted on foot, a terrestrial stalker. Its footsteps are silent, its massive shadow falling over the forest floor. It corners the dwarf sauropod. There's no escape. In one swift, brutal motion, it strikes. The sound of bone crunching echoes through the valley. But here's the terrifying twist. Scientists believe Hatsagopteryx didn't just eat small dinosaurs. Its powerful neck and massive beak were built for something more shocking. It could swallow its prey whole. Imagine a creature the size of a small plane, gulping down a dinosaur the size of a pony. No chewing, no tearing, just gone. The island was a land of extremes, giant predatory pterosaurs, dwarf herbivores, strange flightless birds, and bizarre mammals. Everything here was warped, twisted by isolation, a living nightmare where the rules of nature were rewritten. On Hatig Island, the sky wasn't the domain of the hunters. The ground was, and every shadow could be your last. This wasn't just an island. It was a graveyard ruled by a winged demon, and its reign of terror was only just beginning.